What is up, people of YouTube? I'm your host, Vernon. This is the Great River. Let's fish that. All right, ladies and gents. I had hoped that I could get a couple of videos before it starts snowing, but as you can see, and it is basically November, and we have snow on the ground. Now that is one of the exciting things about Winnipeg. Yes, on average, it is one of the coldest cities, but that grants us some opportunity to do some ice fishing. Now, Manitoba and Minnesota, this is kind of the cradle of ice fishing. Most of the things that are designed for ice fishing happens in these regions. And the idea would be to go ice fishing and get on some big fish. But having just arrived here in Canada, I don't necessarily have all the gear and equipment to go ice fishing yet. But it is going to take some time to get settled. And that is why I'd hope we could get a couple of videos before it gets all icy. And luckily, the Red River isn't frozen yet, so we can still try and do some fishing. Now, of course, my general tactic of throwing out night crawlers, that's more of a summer type of fishing and there's no guarantee that that will work, especially when the water temperatures go down. But that's the thing, I need to get out there, I need to experiment, find out what works. That is the point of these videos. It's my learning process to figure out how to get the fish, as well as getting on some fish. I think for that reason, I'm gonna start with some night crawlers out there, see if there's any fish, maybe some drum or something willing to bite. If not, I can always walk around in the snow, throw some lures, all right, so we got our one rod out there that is baited with some night crawlers. We only need that one little fish that's still willing to feed to go for that to have a successful day out there. But like I said, I don't know whether night crawlers work this time of the year still. Most people tend to use small little dried fish, but we'll give the baits some time out there. Now, if you're wondering if this white powder is affecting me at all. I completely forgot to mention where I'm at. I am fishing today at Chester's Park. It's a little park right next to the University of Manitoba. So some of the buildings in the background, that is part of the university. I'm fishing the Red River near the university in Chester Park. Now at the moment, it is a crisp minus seven degrees Celsius. And that means the little water, I can see right here where we have some stagnant water. There's actually ice crystals forming on top of the water. So the water is starting to freeze. So there's a good chance that this is going to be a very boring video with not a lot of action. But it's important to learn the waters, figure out how the fishing works. All right, so either I choose this particular spot. It's quite simple. We're on a bend, typically in a river, on a bend like this the one side would be slightly deeper that would be the shallower side this would be the deeper side that's what i'm thinking on this side but i'm also looking for some cover thinking these rocks along the shore maybe they extend into the water great place for fish to be hiding whether they actually do go into the water that i do not know but this is a place with some structure in the water on a bend multiple places for fish to be. That is why I chose this particular spot. I'm starting to see ice forming along the edges of the rocks here. So I quickly want to use my little thermometer and get a reading for the temperature of the water. Now, of course, this will be the surface temperature, not the true temperature in the water, but it should give me an idea of what we're facing out there. All right, so I had a reading of 0 0.5. It's now already 0 0.6. So this is typical temperature that you would think fish go into the winter mode and something like carp and maybe channel catfish, they won't be feeding as vigorously. Now that being said, I am still seeing some activity in the water. We have some bubbles coming up here, making it look like something's feeding down there. And I have seen some cormorants chasing around some fish. So I do think there are fish in these area. It's just whether we're going to get them to bite. And that we'll only know by spending some time out there.
Alright, so I'm giving up on the baits. Gonna rather throw around the lure for a while, see if we can get any action on that. All right, ladies and gents, sorry for the skew angle, but this camera keeps slipping in the mud. But after three hours of soaking some baits out there, we've not, we've not had any hits. Now, would I like to do a retake on today? No, I would not. I've learned quite a lot out there today. Even something as simple as how long my batteries last in the cold. So even if I had to do a redo, I'd probably do the same thing. And that is because it was simply fun out there. Now, unfortunately, fun for me does not translate into a video, nor does that make the video exciting, not getting on any fish. But that is one important thing you need to understand. All of this is pretty new to me. And that is the point behind this video, is trying to figure it out and find out how to get on the fish. A month ago, I was still wearing a t-shirt, and now I'm all dressed up for winter. So it's going to take some time and it's going to take some preparation to figure out where the fish are and how to get them. Now that brings up quite an important problem. Do we then go to all these different spots and not catch fish? Is that doing justice to the particular fishing spots? And that is where I want to hear from you guys. Please go down in the comments and tell me, do you want to see the different fishing spots even if I don't catch any fish? A few inches later, Alright, so just after my little outro there, sun started coming out and we seem to have a little hit on our rod. So hopefully we do get a fish in this video. It looks to be tiny baby tunnel catfish. So at least we're getting a fish out there today, tiny tunnel cat. He's all wrapped up in my line. We don't want to keep this catfish out of the water for too long. Especially because it is rather cold. We don't want him to freeze or his gills to get frozen or anything when he's out of the water. little circle hook so he wasn't gonna come off that easy there we are tunnel catfish landed for today here from the Red River 
So we do get a fish at least for today. Just gonna drop him back into the water. And there he goes. Good quick kick and he's off. Alright, so we're on a second fish it seems. Just want to try and get this fish away from the rock there. Another little channel cat. He swam towards the rocks. I think I'm now wrapped around the rock or something. So maybe we have to make our way over there. All right, happy to be on our second little catfish. Hope you guys will at least give me a little thumbs up for catching some fish. Lovely little tunnel catfish in the snow. Would be easier to get it out if he would just open his mouth for me. Barbless circle hook and it's out. And we have second little catfish. Not the biggest of channel catfish, but happy to get on some fish at least. Let's get him back to the water. Swimming the wrong way, but there he goes. Second little fish landed. I think that's where we're going to end this video. Remember to give me a little thumbs up. Feel free to ask any questions down below in the comments. And I'll see you guys next time.